Good morning, sixth grade. Now that you've created an account in Moodle Tools and a project, we're going to talk about how you're going to cite your first source. Noodle Tools should be open to your dashboard at this point. This is control central for your project. If you aren't sure how to get back to your project, add more to your works cited, take notes, or create an outline, always go back to your dashboard. From here, we are going to click on bibliography. It is good practice to cite sources before you start taking notes from them. In this way, you are sure you have a link to the correct source. You can get back to it at any time from your Works Cited page, and you can attach a note card to the source so you know exactly which website or database you found the information you are writing in your notes. The first step when you get to the bibliography page is to click on the down arrow that says Select a Source. It is important to know which type of source you use to find your information. Once you have chosen the type of source, in this case we'll choose a website, click on the green button that says create a citation. This is the page that's going to ask you to click on through to the next page um, as to what the source contains. And you'll notice uh, at the next screen you will be prompted to fill in as much information as you can about the website. You will be asked to find the name of the website and the name of the web page or title of the article. Do you know how these are different? The website is made up of many pages with lots of information, like BBC News. The web page or article is the specific page in the website you are using to take notes, like the Arctic foxes suffer while reds thrive in northern Canada. You should also find the publisher of the site, in this case BBC, and the date the article was published online. If you can find the author, add his or her name here. Do not forget the URL. Noodle Tools will remember this link for you, so you don't have to keep looking it up every time you want to take more notes. Once you have added all of this information, Click on the green submit button at the top or bottom of the page. This is very important or all of your hard work will not be saved. Remember, Moodle Tools does not auto save like Google Drive does. Now you should see your citation on your bibliography page and you are ready to look for the next source.